Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with an X this time. Super happy to get into another episode of Sabakui Bisco. For those who don't know, we are running a bit behind on some of our streams because we had some personal stuff uh, over the last couple weeks, including car issues, job issues, how just everything fell apart right at the beginning or mid of February. But we're getting back into it as hard as we can. We are uh, doing more Sabakui Bisco, this time doing episode six, which I think will have us caught up basically as far as timing goes, though the release is live to YouTube are totally different story, right? Compared to like patron exclusives, which are released uh, as close to day of actual release as we can get it or actual recording as we can get it. With that said, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the original content, uh, you know, if you're enjoying Sabakui Bisco, remember to support the creator by checking the link below. And, you know, you can also check out Crunchyroll. You can check out the light novel wherever it's published. I don't know if they have a manga adaption, but if they do, check that out. Because if we don't support the original content creators, we don't get more of this amazing content. And that's just the truth of the matter. <clears throat> and if you like watching with me, check the uh, end of the video after we're finished watching. You can figure out how to support me as well. But for now, I'm excited to get more into Sabakui Bisco. Last episode really opened up some of the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, sorry, I also realized the background was all fucked. But they opened up some of the different places, right? The way the world works, a lot of what the governor's doing in Imahama, as well as just having a fun time exploring how I guess this world works, right? Like that's big for me. World building has always been a big part of enjoying any show for me, whether that be just the huge world of like, oh, Star Wars universes or the tiny world of this is the world of this high school, right? With all of its intricacies and rules, etc., and the dynamics there. And so I think Sabakui Bisco has done a pretty good job last episode, especially, and uh, I'm excited to see more. But I don't want to keep you waiting, so we're going to go ahead and get right into this episode. Sorry again for messing up too on the intro thing, but ah, you know what happens. Oh, I also forgot that the. The intro is now right at the start. It wasn't before. And we don't do those anymore for a couple of reasons. They always give spoilers for one. I feel like that's just the way intros and trailers work is spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. So unless they're big popular ones that get requests, we don't usually do them. Okay, broken down helicopter in the snow. <clears throat> Why were they by a helicopter? And <laughs> easier said than done. Okay. Okay.超材機を使って葉っぱだけにハガネグモの毒を調合してみたんだ。矢が当たらなくてもやりようがあるってこと。Oh wow. Wow! <laughs> like, I don't accept this. A hit without a hit is wrong. Someone bear a... Yep, of course. I knew it was... And it's the... Good. Interesting voice effect. I love how, like, angry and cold she was at the same time. Yeah, he's like, how do you get ahead of us each time? Actually, it's a good question. Holy shit. I didn't even think about that, but thank you, Dark Panda. How the f do you do that? Oh, that's what that helicopter was. Yeah, that's somehow what everybody tells themselves who has negative karma. And yet, people without negative karma don't and haven't. Even though they've often been through worse situations, so... Oh my god. Also... Why doesn't the crab throw her off? I knew this was going to be a problem later. Oh, both of them? No way. No way, both of them. Alright, that actually was... I appreciate that. A lot. That's consistency. That's more consistency than some shows ever get. I'm serious. 
I was gonna say she's fluent, and when she talks, we understand. I don't know why his great instincts. What are you saying? Are you an animal? It's a secret. Field guide to life. She used some dirty trick. It will only sully your spirit. <laughs> Take that fear spirit and freeze. It's literally frozen over. Literally. Oh, I was about to say, but now Octagawa proves his usefulness, besides just transportation. He's been a great transportation. I'm not trying to diss Octagawa. Just saying, originally he was supposed to take us through the mines. What the f is that? Oh, mushrooms. That is actually pretty fucking cool. Glow shrooms. He messed up. Yep. <laughs> it's every little thing like coughing up glowing mushrooms. Jesus God, can't a guy just cough up some glowing mushrooms without being judged? Fuck. It's so funny. Or would have, let alone could. The music, though. Hmm. I was going to say, we haven't gotten any of his history. This is the most we've ever gotten. Kicked him the chest. Well, you gotta be. What could your name be? I was gonna say, they, they definitely both have weird names. They're gonna laugh, though. They will. It's just the law of anime. It has nothing to do with them. Hiro? Hiro? <laughs> I'll bury you upside down. <laughs> so she's leaving them there then. Why would they laugh at her name? What does it mean? There you go. That was sweet. That was really well done. Pipe snake. What is it? Oh, wow. Oh, hey, it's that thing from earlier. And it's already did. Oil squid. I am so confused. And then let him go. You got this. You got this, Dr. Panda. Okay. Roll one. <laughs> Wait, did he actually shoot the arrow, or did it just blow up anyway? I actually didn't see there. Oh, gross. That's really gross. Wait. Okay. 15 years ago. Is that the thing? No. That's just a regular-ass bird. Oh! Is that it? That thing is fucking huge. Why does it have fingers and legs? Yeah, that's not a 
either of those. It's a fucking abomination. And he's going right at it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is this? I'm actually freaking out because this is actually ridiculous. It bounced right off. I was wondering how that was going to work because some of the bitch. Oh wow, she caught up fast. <laughs> also, he's already messed up from the other one, so. And ending. God damn. Good ending, though. Good ending for, uh. Suspense sake, at the very least. Sorry, I'm trying to pause it, but. There we go. And, uh, yeah. I. Uh, this is the most recent episode, so we are caught up now, and at least as of the time of this recording, which is usually a, about a week behind uh, when we release it on YouTube. But yeah, it damn, this episode popped off. It didn't have as much maybe of the world building. It had some cool little pieces here and there, but it definitely had a lot of action and movement towards their goal much quicker than I expected. Like You, you don't expect them to get there by episode six, that's for sure. It, on top of that, the weird looking pipe snake, which is definitely got human parts on it. Fingers, toes, legs, whatever the f else was on there. Weird looking and so many questions about how this thing came to be, where they are, what it does and why 15 years ago they came and got these rust eaters but have not fixed everything. So there's something going on. And I only have more questions and no answers. But I'd love to talk with you guys about it. Maybe there have been more hints in the past. We also didn't get any answers on what's going on with Javi back at the city. Uh, with the governor and everything, right? Having been revealed at the end of the other one. So there's tons of questions to ask still. And I'd love to talk with you about them in the comments, on our Discord, wherever you'd like. Uh, you can also check us out once again every week. We do these live on twitch.tv slash reactions with an X. You can check us out there and, you know, see whatever we are watching that week. Or if you want to see more stuff without all the video edits and cuts, you can check us out on our Patreon at patreon.com slash 3D. And uh, yeah, that'll also be linked below for as low as a dollar a month to get everything, all the audio, all the video, none of the cuts like we have to do on YouTube. And you know, it'll be a great time. But with that said, I want to say thank you to everybody watching. We will see you next time for more reactions with an X. Sabakui Bisco. Have a great one, guys.